Night everyone, Dolphin Oracle here tonight checking out the remaster system in Antics uh, 17. Now what is remaster? Remaster allows you to take changes to the live USB persistence files, ball them all up, cram them into the initial uh, Linux squash file system file. That's the compressed file system file. And free up all that space in the root persistence file so you can make new root persistence files. So now you can see the 6 gigabyte limit on persistence files isn't quite so onerous. Before we get started, I'm going to crack open my file manager here. And I'm going to go into the live boot directory. Let's see, live. Okay, yeah, I didn't think I could do that. I gotta have a root window. There we go. Root live. And in the boot device folder, this is what your top level of your USB stick looks like if you just cranked it open. And what you would see is this. This is a, a loot mount, I guess. So we can see what's in on our USB stick even though we're using the USB stick to run our file system. I am running live right now. This is my actual live USB that I'm using. Uh, this isn't the one I created in the video, uh, the earlier video with the with the creating the USB. This is my actual main stick. So if you go into live USB storage, that's where it stores files outside of those persistence files already. So if you got big stuff like movies or virtual box stuff, that's a good place to put it. You're gonna see the EFI boot folder. That's what allows us to boot on EF UEFI systems. You're gonna see the boot folder. That's gonna be your standard legacy boot stuff. Also Grub, which is used by, uh, is what's used on, on, on UEFI instead of SysLinux. But the, what we're looking for is the Antics folder. And the Antics folder contains several items. What we're interested in right now, the state file, the state folder controls things that it doesn't matter if you're using persistence or not. It's going to save things like your sound state or your network interface information. A few things that make life a little bit easier uh, so that when you boot into another computer, uh, or on your same computer or whatever, uh, those files load and it's kind of seamless and you don't even have to worry about persistence all that much in a lot of cases. Uh, it saves them on a general and per, sh per machine basis, so that's kind of nice. Some things are per, mach per machine, like network interface stuff, and some things are general, like, I actually don't know, sound stuff probably. Well, let's see, let's take a look. Let's take a look and see. General, files, Etsy, oh, some network interface stuffs in general. Okay, fine. So, but that's not what we're interested in right now. What we're interested in right now is looking at root FS. That is the root persistence file system. You can see mine's 5.9 gigabytes. I use the 6 gigabyte option available in Live USB Maker. You can see home FS 3.9. I took the default 4 gigabyte option in Live USB Maker. But this file is the file you get if you just make a system. And you can see that mine is over a gig. Um, the Linux FS system is over gig. In fact, I have the VirtualBox running with the file system let's see here doo, doo, doo. let's get SpaceFM opening up here Anyway, this the Linux file system is the, is the file that you get when you when you make a live USB stick. That's what's extracted from the ISO and put on there. So this is like the original file. You see, mine's a little large. The Antics US live USB uh, the Antics default Linux FS file system file. It's going to be somewhere around 700 780 gig megabytes or so. That's because I've remastered this system once already, and I'm going to about to do it again. I've had some updates. Uh, I'm going to roll those things up in with the remaster tool. And that's what that's these are the files that are going to change. The rootfs file is going to go away. The homefs file is going to stay or go away depending on what I choose. And the linuxfs file is going to shrink or grow depending on on the contents of all those files when they get smooshed back together. Okay, so I'm going to close that and I'm going to go down here to applications. And I believe it's in the actually I think it's this one's in the control center under live is under remaster customize live yes so what kind of remaster do you want to do general or personal now I believe personal will wrap up your home folder stuff I'm going to do a general 
Do I want to save files under slash home the new remaster? Uh, no, I don't want to, but you could. Uh, the following files already exist. See, I already mentioned I already did this once. So rootfs old and linuxfs old, uh, they may be left over. Do you want to fix it now? The alternative is yes, I want to fix it now. Okay, should it be deleted? Yes, just delete the thing. I don't need it anymore. And I don't. I can delete the old Linux file system file as well. Now here's a little slight bug, and it's caused by. Uh, well, we're not sure what it's caused by, but we're thinking G a GTK a GTK problem with 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 some of the uh, some of the dialog boxes. Uh, so if you use the, uh, you can just move this up. I use right alt and move it up like this. Yes, I'm ready to begin. So it's going to compress it with gzip. Fine. Do you want to remaster using all the CPUs? Yes. Give it a title. I don't care about title. And now the prog the remaster is in progress. Now it's going to take a while. Now this is a dummy progress bar here, but if you look up here, you'll see this thing starting to creep across. It's got a lot of information. It's taking right now. It's taking the Linux file system fi file, which is a, that, that's that one gig file I showed you, and the rootfs file, which is taking all the changes inside that six gigabyte file. Now, there's not necessarily six gigabytes of information in there. That's just what size the file is that stores all that stuff. And it's going to mush all that together and spit out a new Linux file system file. This is going to take a little while. I'm going to pause the video because otherwise it's just a boring progress bar. Be right back. Okay, so there we go. Uh, on the USB system, it took about two, and a, two minutes, three minutes there to run. Um, I'll just point out that if you're doing this on a USB 2 system, it will work. Uh, however, it will take uh, a bit longer than that. USB 3 is brilliant for this kind of thing with its increased throughput. Um, it just everything takes a little longer on USB 2. It'll mention that if there's a new problem with the system, you can use the rollback boot option to return to the current system. Do you want to make a new rootfs file now? Yes, I do. And you can choose from a menu what you want. I'll take the 6 gig. Thank you very much. It was created. My home one's already created because I picked the general. So it's still good to go. If I open up the file manager now. Now remember, right now, those files won't go into effect until I reboot. Right now, it's still running the original. So let's see here. Boot dev. Whoops, I forgot. I have to be root to get into those window, the folder. Uh, da, 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 live boot device antics and you can see there are now new there's the new one that'll be used the next time I boot reboot it'll ask me if I can want to move it over and I will say yes I can't show that because this is actually the running live system instead of the virtual box system so I can't actually show you that that process but it's very easy just ask a one time question remastering done it goes um, there's the current one, there's the new one, and you can see there's the current rootfs, and there's the new, new rootfs. That'll be turned into rootfs old. Uh, I believe you saw those earlier, but I deleted them. So that anyway, all the changes to my system, all the apps I've installed, and I've installed a few. I've got Chrome. I've got uh, do 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 do. I've got something else in here. Oh, I've got I've got I've got uh, I've got Simple Screen Recorder, of course. Uh, all those changes that and the apps I've installed. Uh, will be rolled up into that system and that will be available to me on the next reboot. So why is it important? Why do you want to remaster? Well, when you use a rootfs file system, when you use root persistence or any kind of persistence, when you make updates, like when you do an app get update or whatever, you pull down regular system updates like you do, those files don't replace the files in the LinuxFS system. Those files go in, all have to go into the persistence files. So when they go into the persistence files, essentially, all, essentially a lot of those files take up double space. So let's say LibreOffice updates. Well, LibreOffice takes up you know a gig or something on your stick. It's, it's not that big. Whatever. It's, it's several hundred megabytes on your in, in your regular Linux file system. When you update it, that old LibreOffice is still there, but the new one is in the persistent. It goes into the persistence file. So that effectively doubles all the storage. You can do this for a while, but eventually you're going to need, you should remaster to enhance performance, uh, number one. And number two, to clean out that persistence file so that you can have another persistence file, you know, 
Now I can take that 6 gig persistence file I had. It's empty. It's gone. Everything's rolled up into the new Linux FS file. Um, and so that's available for new stuff later on down the road. So USB users, do the remaster occasionally. It's a good maintenance tip. You know, if, if a big update comes down, if Debian updates and you get a big, you know, 500 megabyte update, that's a great time to do a remaster. It really is. Anyway, it's MX Remaster. You got any questions? Throw them in the show note in the in the post below. Uh, otherwise, for tips, tricks, how tos. Head over to antixlinux.com. I'll get used to saying that eventually. Or throw up a post at www.antixforumsforumsingular.com. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.